and then being all hard and that so you can't be it's just all strange stuff that we have to like stick to these societal norms or our own subculture norms and whatnot so then i'm thinking to myself do you know what they didn't go to the university of parenting to be the top parents because then i started thinking why do i think that they weren't good parents because i'm thinking it's from tv programs films like cartoons that shows showed me what a, a family unit should look like but i am not getting that you know i mean i'm not getting tucked up in bed every night and a story read i'm not getting like when something happens sat down and spoken to and processing it in that moment do you know what i mean i haven't got that person that i can like just go to that confident that rock because what is about my family as well you, you nothing stayed in our household like you'd say something in confidence but then someone's just going to tell someone someone else and now everyone knows it's like you're shame so you just don't talk you don't talk no more you don't tell nobody nothing you keep it all inside and it eats your wage you know what i mean because you don't know what to do with it so only thing you know what to do is to express through violence and frustration um so yeah so it's not like they went to the university of parenting and could be this idealistic parent mum and dad that i've always wanted but they just thought they've got the hooking degree holding a degree that they've got after all these years of like you know learning to be the best parent ever every person that gets a degree is just perfect and it's not like they thought little baby marcus nah i'm not using that and he said it's be fucked up they didn't throw away the perfect the perfection and just be fucked up they weren't fucked up anyway but i'm just saying for example they didn't do that and decide like no one's been to the university of parenting it's an on the job thingy you're just thrust into it from your first child and then things don't work out like you know like the it's just a different world now it's not a cohesion a cohesive unit you know there's no like real guidance everyone just is what they are do you know what i mean the community spirit the village mentality is gone we're a big city people now we're just our own individual households there's no real anything you look crooked well, I have my split ends. I have my split ends cut off. You see? <laughs> um, so, yeah, so that's what started to make me... Re and that was, like, those, like, two things, like, they are only... They're just like everybody, and everybody's just a combination of their story. And they didn't, like I say, go to the University of Parenting and fuck off... Just, just, just fuck it off and say, do you know what, fuck this, I'm not raising Marcus like perfect, I'm just going to do whatever. They didn't do that. It wasn't a conscious choice to be what I've classed as bad... Do you know what I mean? They were just doing them, doing the best that they can do. So that just, this resentment and anger, frustration I've carried and sadness overall, really, was just like dissipating through this realisation. So that's why I've kept saying over like the past couple of pods, my relationship with my parents has got better because I changed. Like it's not to say that they haven't changed as well because we all grow at the end of the day. I was in jail for six years. That's a long time for people to to move on because we're moving possibly into like a new decade of life um, or further into a decade of life. So we get more enriched, we're constantly enriched with life, whether it's negative or positive or how we take it. Because I, you know, bad things happen to me, but it's how I deal with it now, how I cope with that. You know, I don't tend to drink, I don't tend to drugs, I don't tend to partying, I don't tend to like negative friends, I don't tend to revenge. Because I've got a plan in place, my decisions are dictated by how it's going to affect me immediately and in the future. Like, I need to stay on this path because I've got things I need to do. Do you know what I mean? So, it's a pretty simple decision. Certain things right now. And obviously, I understand how they've impacted me there. I, so, I understand me. That's the best understanding you can have. Understanding yourself, like... I was like that because of this. And when this happens, I do this. Does that help me out? No. What else can I do? These things. I choose these things over that. Um, so, yeah. So then relationship instability, how it leads up to that with um, everybody else in your life. So they're my, my main two like blueprints with male and female, mum and dad, brothers as well, kind of. <laughs>